So what the Lord began to show me is this incredible dynamic that's going on in the heavenlies that some way, and he said, watch Israel. Watch May the 26th. And watch the atmosphere start shifting based upon your choice. I'm going to say this again, just the way he said it. And I'm with John. I don't have to understand it fully, but I know I got up this morning walking toward it. Watch Israel. Watch May the 26th. And watch the atmosphere shift based upon your choice. (laughs) We're in such a very interesting time right now. Look at somebody next to you and say, you better hang on. (laughs) Let me remind you of what this year, year looks like. Now, we've been saying this in September. So, I mean, this is not something new. So all of you out there that's wondering about the prophetic, there, uh, there is true prophecy. God doesn't do anything without first telling the prophets. You can write all the letters you want. You can have all the signatures you want, but God will still be. And so it becomes very important we recognize that we're living in a portion where the line of the tribe of Judah, I love what James was singing there at the end, is roaring from heaven, but it's stirring up everything that can be stirred up in the earth realm. And because of that, it is a, uh, it's a dragon season. And because of the dragon season, it's a lot of conflict going on. You'll hear more about that throughout the day today as uh, Daniel and Amber come forth, as others share. Uh, I'm so excited about those who will be sharing today. Now, so get this picture in your mind. This does not go away. And because of that, we must understand it. I mean, I am excited that the mask mandate is lifting some. Let's thank God for that. But, Tom, we thank God for Texas. Thank you for surrounding it again and the team you took with you. Now, here's what I want you to know. This is really one of the keys from the book of Ruth. We are divinely being positioned with a new identity. Now, I want you to so get that and repeat that. We are divinely being positioned with a new identity. I don't think we have fully come forth yet, but I do think it looks like Ruth chapter 3 where Naomi, you saw that last night, pulls Ruth aside and says, honey, we got to make a shift here. Uh, We're not going to have anything in the future if you don't take this opportunity now. Tell somebody that. you got to take it now. Where where are you at? I'm here. They finally let you back up here. Do something. Now, and she said, you're going to have to take a bath. You're going to have to get cleaned up. You're going to have to get a new anointing. You're going to have to put on a new dress. Then you're going to have to go lay down at your future's feet. Somebody say he's doing a new thing. Now, hear me. We're going to have to lay down at our future's feet. That's what that boils down to. That was such an act of a new identity submitting to the future. And she got the best of the region. She was divinely integrated into the best of God's plan from heaven. That's what we want all to be yelling out for with the Lord that we are being divinely integrated into the best plan that God has for the future. And because of that, the voice of the earth is crying out for liberty, and it's you who's going to bring it. 
And we're in this process of going through this. Doesn't matter how old you are. Doesn't matter how young you are. Doesn't matter what your culture is. If you belong to God, you're in a kingdom process right now of saying, I'm going to have to lay down and submit to my future, the future that God has for me. Amen. Or else you're going to find yourself shifting into a direction that you never belong. I have watched me give words over places for years and years and years, and I've watched them never submit to that word. It has nothing to do with the word. The Word of God, I, I think of all the places Barbara's prophesied to, has nothing to do with the prophecy. It has to do with you seizing the moment to submit to your future. That was what happened with Ruth. She seized a moment. Naomi knew, honey, it's now or never. Say it out loud. It's now or never. It's now or never. And she pressed past her Moabitess background. She pressed past all of those that didn't like her. She pressed past everything and submitted and got the best. Say it, I'm on my way. I heard, I had a word of knowledge last night. I want to say this prophetically. While that play was going on. See, you can get in and watch the entertainment of the play, or you can let the Spirit interact with you. And we're going to do that in just a second. That's how we're going to end this session. Uh, and all of a sudden, the Lord sh flashed the number 26 across my spirit mind. And so I went home last night, and I said, Lord, what are you saying? And he began to say that, and, and I read the whole book of Joel. I mean, the book of Joel is incredible. It starts off with tremendous judgment because everybody's messed up. It ends up with restoration, and uh, it prophesies restoration. Then it ends up with people having to choose how they'll operate in the valley of Jehoshaphat, the valley of decision. See, that's the valley of Jehoshaphat. A confederation's coming against you. How are you going to move with me against the confederation? I'm not going to remove the confederation. How are you going to move with me against that confederation that's coming against you? Now, the body of Christ, we're going to have to grow up in that. There are certain things that will not be removed. Therefore, we're going to have to move against them. That's what Pam told me one time. I, as she was saying, you know, honey, you, your blood pressure's up because you've, you've gained weight. And I said, well, I'm asking the Lord to remove that mountain. And she said, he's telling you to get up and move that mountain. It's two different worlds we got going on here. <laughs> see, some way we have to see this. Uh, and so what the Lord began to show me is this incredible dynamic that's going on in the heavenlies that some way, and he said, watch Israel. Watch May the 26th and watch the atmosphere start shifting based upon your choice. I'm going to say this again, just the way you said it. And I'm with John. I don't have to understand it fully, but I know I got up this morning walking toward it. Watch Israel. Watch May the 26th and watch the atmosphere shift based upon your choice. That is a personal word for you. 
It's a corporate word for us. It's a territorial word for us. It is a word for nations. And it is a word that is circling, as it says in Psalms 19, the earth right now. He said, I send my word day and night. I utter speech day and night, and it goes on lines around the earth. That's who God is. And all of a sudden, this word is circling the earth. 